Edrich Taube NV. The Taube aircraft, English Pigeon, was developed by the Austro-Hungarian engineer Dr. Ignaz Edrich and his co-engineer and pilot Karl Elner in 1909. The prototype was first flown on July the 30th, 1909. In October 1910, Karl Elner achieved the first record in long-range flying from Vienna to Horn. Although its shape was similar to that of pigeons, those were in reality not the archetypes for the construction of the Erdrich Taube. Moreover, its wingtips were designed according to the flight seed of the tropical Zanonia plant, also Mitra Macrocarpa, from Indonesia. The aircraft had not yet ailerons. Instead of, it was steered by wrapping the wingtips. But in spite, the Erdrich Taube was the first successful commercial aircraft produced in Austria. Not only Etrich built this type of aircraft, but many manufacturers in Germany and Italy too. In 1911, Rumpler for example, got the license to produce Taube aircraft in Germany. But later, Etrich's patent for the Taube was violated by several manufacturers in Europe. Igor Etrich, however, forget to charge them, and thus Taube aircraft were produced by many manufacturers in Europe. The Etrich Taube NV was one of the safest aircrafts before 1914. Its flying stability was such that the flying instructor consulted his students to leave their hands from the steering wheel if they got in troubles, since the aircraft will got itself its flying stability. During an aircraft show in Berlin Johannesthal, a visitor played with the throttle lever of an Etrich Taube unwillingly starting the six-cylinder Austro-Daimler straight-line engine. The aircraft started by itself and managed to fly without pilot 300 kilometers to Silesia when its fuel was exhausted. Without the pilot, the aircraft achieved a safe landing onto the grass meadow. Only the propeller was damaged. One of the most famous civilian pilots of the Etrich Taube was Alfred Friedrich. Already in 1912, he broke the long-range flight record by flying non-stop more than five hours with a Taube. On September the 5th, 1913, at five o'clock and 26 minutes in the morning, he started his Etrich Taube N47, designated D2 from Berlin Johannesthal, with the meteorologist Dr. H. Elias as a passenger to the famous five countries flight. The only tools for the navigation which they had was an ordinary compass and a road map in scale 1 to 100,000, with which Dr. Elias gave Friedrich the instructions in which direction he had to fly. After several landings for taking fuel and rest in Hanover, Gelsenkirchen and Brussels, they arrived at Paris on September the 7th at 20 minutes past 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The flight time for the 820 km distance was only 12 hours, but the two aviators were forced to land near a Belgian village named Salabrière due to the fact that they had lost their orientation and needed to ask the peasants for the right way. They also became their guests since additionally bad weather forced them to stay there for two days. Six days later, on September the 13th, 1913, Friedrich continued his voyage from Paris to London, now with Igor Etrich as passenger. This flight was performed without difficulties. On September the 17th, they left London to return to Berlin, after stops in Calais, Antwerpen, Nijmegen and Hanover, they landed at the Hanesdorp airport on September the 20th at a quarter past 16 in the afternoon. The astonishing flight stability of the Etrich NV Taube also awakened the interest 
of the armies in Europe who finally were asking for aerial observation tools. Originally, fixed balloons and airships were taken for this role. But from Blériot's, Farman's and Etrich Tsatchev's flights in 1909 to 1911 on, aircrafts came into their focus. Thus, in 1912, the Etrich Taube got its first military use by the Italian army during the occupation war over Libya. Originally, it was used as an observation plane. But together with the Blériot 11, it became also the first bomber aircraft when an Italian pilot had thrown two little hand grenades as bombs at Arabic Bedouin tribes in the Sahara Desert. When the First World War broke out, a lot of aviator units in Germany and also Hungary were equipped with the Tauber A2 for observation tasks. <coughs> the most successful flight was in August 1914, when an Etrich Tauber A2 spotted the Russian positions during the Battle of Tannenberg. Its observations enabled General Paul von Hindenburg to change his strategy in that way that he could encircle the whole Russian army in eastern Prussia and to defeat them. On August the 31st, the German aviator Paul Hindenburg flew his Gotha Taube from Cologne to Paris for throwing propaganda material over the town. Soldiers and policemen tried to shoot down the aircraft standing on the roofs of the Parisian houses. And von Hindenburg answered their welcome by throwing five little bombs over the Gare du Nord. One woman was killed and several men injured. <coughs> Another famous role played the Taube, which was flown by Günther Plüschow in Tsingtao, the German colony in China. During the Japanese siege of Tsingtao from September to November 1914, Plüschow flew a lot of observation missions. He even had a dogfight with a Japanese farmer aircraft, which he forked with his pistol. But in spite, Tsing Tao had to surrender at the end of November 1914. Blücher, however, managed to escape with his aircraft through China and returned to Germany in late 1915. But at this time, the Etrich Taube was never more used in combat. It was originally designed as a civilian aircraft for traveling, safe but slowly flying with a Mercedes straight-line engine of 100 horsepower and a top speed of 115 km per hour. It was unarmed or not agile flying. It was a good observation platform for taking photos from the air, but it was not appreciated for the upcoming dogfights with machine-gunned hostile fighters. Thus, it became also the first German plane to be forced down on August the 25th, 1914, by a British aircraft. However, this tower did not crash as shown in this drawing. The German pilot simply got in panic, since his British opponent flew so tightly around his own plane that he decided to land outside behind his lines. Thus, the, Ad, the Etrich Taube was only used as trainer for beginning flight students from 1915 on.